right now for your next comic, Tommy Duda. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Let's keep it going for Deanna, everyone. Yeah. She is uh, way better than us. <laughs> uh, so I had a pretty good Valentine's Day, and I'm not rubbing that in, Deanna. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend and I did one of the most romantic things you can do. We went on a winter road trip through Wisconsin. And uh, on that road trip, we went by a billboard that said, Be mine, had a little heart next to it, hyphen God. <laughs> and we're both like, Come on, God. A billboard. <laughs> like, maybe that's God's problem. Like, he's a little too eager, a little too available. Like, maybe, like, a hard to get God would do a lot better. <laughs> Just like, has one of those fade haircuts, wears dress shoes without socks type of God. Just like, yeah, you can pray if you want, I don't care. <laughs> I'll just be chilling in heaven. The Mormons are having an arts and crafts fair, it's supposed to be dope. <laughs> but yeah, I guess sinning is fun, so enjoy that. Or whatever. <laughs> We'd all be like, damn. I want to get to know that God guy. <laughs> He's so aloof. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend, her name's Kayla, and we had a fun time. Uh, we have a fun relationship. I'll be like, hey, we're supposed to get four inches this weekend. She'll be like, I got four inches last night. And we'll high five. <laughs> but yeah, we actually met in Las Vegas. We were on a company trip. Um, and I'd like to say it was love at first sight, but at least for me, it was more like I have no fucking chance at first sight. Uh, like, like when I met her, well, well still now, still, but when I met her, she's like this beautiful, amazing person. <laughs> uh, and at that time, I was not. Like, <laughs> like uh, I'd gone a couple years without a relationship, and I was really going through a phase where I could feel my virginity grow back. <laughs> and it's where Kayla would be like, mm, back. Yes, back, Caleb. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I got to, it, like I kind of forgotten that sex was a thing normal people could do. Like for me, it kind of become like NFL football. Like I knew there's like this elite group of people out there doing it. And I was a big fan of them. I had a fantasy team. It was great. I'd really lost any concept of it being a thing that, like, little old me could do. <laughs> like, for example, a couple months before I met Kaylin, I, I went out with some friends, and one of my friends brought a roommate, and we were hitting it off, so my friends are good wing people, and they left us alone for the night. And then uh, ne the next day, they're good friends, they want to check in, and she's like, so, uh, uh, <laughs> what happened? And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Well, she ended up coming back to my place. And get this, she said she was thirsty, so I got her some water, and then she drank it and left. <laughs> My friend's like, she just came over and drank water? And I was like, well, well yeah, I had, uh, I had to run out of Capri Sun earlier in the day. So <laughs> that's all I had. <laughs> I was like, Tom, she didn't come over to hydrate, she came over to like, hook up. And I was like, Oh! You mean I could have been playing NFL football that whole time? They're like, NFL? No, you've been having sex, you fucking weirdo! I was like, well, either way, we would have wanted to be hydrated, so you could be nice. But yeah, so that's where I was at in my life when I met Kaylin. And our first night together, we went to a casino, as you do in Vegas. And it was just instant chemistry. We were having this amazing night. Um, we go by this, like, Rolex ad. And uh, it's like this male model, like sprawled out on a desk. He, he actually looks a lot like God from earlier, but <laughs> sprawled out on this desk, and he's, he's got his watch like right here, just like Rolex. And Kaylin looks at it, and she's like, "Forget the watch. What do I have to do to get my hands on that desk?" And I was like, "I think I love you." <laughs> She, she laughs, but then like a couple minutes later we go by this wedding chapel and we're both like, uh, 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 can you imagine? Ah. Like it's pure magic, you guys. But, but still in my head I'm like, I have no chance. Like this girl's way out of my league. I have no chance. Like on the flight there, I was sitting in my seat and I saw a woman come walking down the aisle and she was alone. She just had this look on her face like, this trip is for me. 
<laughs> and she's, she's wearing this shirt that says, Life is a sexually transmitted disease, and the mortality rate is 100%. I'll let, I'll let that marinate. <laughs> yeah, so I remember like looking at her and being like, all right, that's someone in my league. Okay. Like, <laughs> like the type of woman who goes through airport security wearing that shirt, just begging to be pulled aside, just like, yeah, you're going to want to pat me down. You see this shirt? You're going to want to give it a pat. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> like that's what I thought I had a chance with, not this like beautiful, amazing person sitting next to me making fun of a desk. And, uh, but finally, I got the clue I needed, just got beat over the head with signals, and a little later in the night, um, Kaylin went to the bathroom, and she comes back a couple minutes later holding a half full of glass of rosé. And I'm like, Kaylin, where'd, where'd you get that drink? And she's like, oh my god, there's like shelves over the toilets in the bathroom where people leave their drinks. So I'm like, Vegas, don't mind if I do, and I took one. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> If your taste in men is anything like your taste in drinks, I think I actually have a chance! <laughs> 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 <laughs>